Hi, this is Natalia from Intelica Technology Consortium, and today I want to take some time to review the new features included in Intelica 9. Let's start with user interface improvements. First, a very noticeable addition are the tool palettes. It has the same user interface as the properties pane. You can customize it the way you want. You can float it, dock it left and right, auto hide it, add new palettes, move existing palettes up and down. You can move the location of palette items. It's, this window is also adjustable. As you can see, we don't have many tabs right now. It's because work is still in progress and all menus will be available from the tool palettes later. So at this point, tool palettes work as a toolbar, but it's a huge step forward. Also, use an X palette system variable, you can get user access to all IntelliCut Explorer elements. You can see how we use it for layers and blocks. These new panes have same user interface as the properties pane too. One more improvement in the user interface is the property pane tree control. You can see all of these selected entity types is a tree. Drop-down list works fine when you're dealing with one or two entities, but when you want to select all objects of the same type, for example, text objects, or need to change value for all objects at once, tree control is extremely useful. I'm sure you will like it. Also, the property pane now supports additional entity types, AC entities. I have a drawing with walls, doors, and windows. Let's select all entities and see that they are ready for editing. That's pretty much it about the user interface. Now let's take a look at new commands. I have opened the Express Tools tab in both A.4b and IntelliCAD 9, so you can see how many improvements have been done. Let's start with the text panel and change text case. It's doing exactly what it says. It changes the case of selected text entities. After calling this option, you can choose between five different cases. Text case works with text, M text, attributes, and dimension text. One more option in the modify text menu is justify text. It changes the justification point of a text entity without moving the text. It works with text, M text, and attribute definition. Another very useful option from the modify text menu is rotate text. Use it when it's hard to read your text, M text, attribute definitions and blocks with attributes. This command rotates text to improve its readability, locating text as close as possible to the horizontal axis or right read. The last option from the modify text menu is text feed. It changes the width of text entities based on new starting and ending points, so you can stretch or shrink it. This option only works with text entities, so to feed multi-line text, you have to explode it first. The next addition on the text panel is arc align text. It creates curved text around the selected arc. When you call this command and select the arc you would like to use, the arc align dialog appears where you can choose any formatting, text style, and font. Of course, you can type your, type your text here. To edit arc align text, just call the arc text command again and select the curved text. The text is open for editing. A very important comment. The arc text command creates an arc align text entity. It's not text or M text. It's a new type with, with its own editor. That finishes arc text. Let's review scale text. It resize selected text entities without changing their location. So all you have to do is select the text entity you want to scale and specify a new scale factor. Next command to review is the move, copy, rotate command, or short Mokoro. It combines the most commonly used modification commands. You can move, make multiple copies, or rotate objects all using one command, Mokoro. Remember it, you will like it. Let's move to reset dimension text. It restores the measured value to modify dimension text. So if you by some reason change dimension text and need it back, just use the reset dimension text command. The very last addition from the Express Tools tab is XList. It lists the type, block name, layer name, color, and line type of nested entity in a block or an XREF. Another very large addition is the new Facet Model Meshes panel on the Draw 3D tab. Using one of these new options, you can create lighter entities which makes your drawing smaller. All the Facet Model Meshes are easy to edit comparing to 3D solids, for example, and provides you a variety of editing options. The Facet Model Meshes are great when you need to create not very detailed model. 
Also, Camera Command is now available in Intel CAD 9. It has grip points, so you can edit it. You can look at it in 3D, change location and target. It creates a view, so if you are going to the View Manager, you can see all existed cameras and switch between them easily. This time-lapse video demonstrates how to use the new Construction Lines feature to quickly lay out 2D orthographic views. There are several different methods for creating construction lines, either from the ribbon or toolbars. Construction lines are created on their own layer as light blue, semi-transparent color, similar to how construction lines are used in manual drafting. Tools are also provided to help you quickly erase or clear all construction lines. The construction lines are a welcome addition for 2D drafting as well as for 3D layout. That's pretty much it about new commands, and now I would like to mention a couple of additions to existing functionality. The first one is the array option in the copy command. We had many requests from ITC members, and now it's finally here. Enjoy it. The second much requested addition is the columns for end text. You can see that all columns functionality is implemented. Dynamic columns with auto and manual high, static columns where you can create a predefined number of columns or select more option to call the column settings dialog to customize column settings for both dynamic and static columns. Also several new options were added to the PDF export dialog. You can see how dramatically it changed. Now it has options to export hatches and gradients, color policy, ability to export hyperlinks and more. Some sub-options were added to the existed options, for example, now you can make text searchable. Also, Custom PDF Export Properties dialog is now available by clicking on Custom Properties button. You can specify additional options for exporting, such as image, vector, and height resolution. Use Measuring option to include measurement data in the exported PDF file. To convert exported PDF file into PDF slash A format, use one of options from PDF slash A drop-down list. This option excludes all features that can be dangerous for long-term document storage. One very important addition I want to make in this video is that IntelliCAD 9 now supports native editing of DWG 2018 drawing files, as well as two new point clouds formats are now supported. Let's move to performance improvements in IntelliCAD 9. First one is full support for incremental save. Incremental save helping you save your drawings faster. If you're working in a large drawing file that takes forever to save and you only made one or two changes, the incremental save will only save the changes you made instead of saving the whole drawing all over again. I have a pretty large drawing here and let's see how long it takes to save a very minor changes with and without incremental save. So as you can see, with incremental save enabled, it takes less time to save the drawing. If you would like to adjust speed of your save, you can use iSave% system variable. It's controlled how much wasted space can occur in your drawing pile before it will perform a full save. Higher the iSave% variable value is, faster your save is. One more thing to add about incremental save, that it also speeds up autosave, so users are not slowed down when autosave is activated. Two more performance improvements I would like to mention are point cloud performance improvement for RCS and RCP files, and performance improvements for zoom and pan operations for clipped external references. This completes my review of the basic productivity tools for IntelliCAD 9, but there is much more. See our additional videos on the building information modeling features for Revit and IFC underlays, our new AAC object support for walls, doors, and windows, and DGN editing. Leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.